for a new attitude. Give me my song. We've invited just the right person to give us a new attitude, to help us unleash the power within us. We have invited South African-born, internationally acclaimed speaker, Robin Banks, who says his ultimate mission is to empower people and to help them take charge of their lives. That's just what we need for 2004, Doctor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Doctor yeah, because I want you to doctor my attitude. So many of us sitting out there are just filled with negativity. And I want 2004 to be a year where people say, you know what, I'm a positive person. Talk to us there. Okay. In that song that Patti LaBelle sang, mm -hmm. she said that, um, I think the words were, I'm feeling good from my head to my shoes. Mm -hmm. um, no I know I'm where I'm going and, and I know what to do. Mm -hmm. How many of us really know where we're going? Mm -hmm. Most people don't know where they're going. And do we know what to do? Are we making the choices that empower us or disempower us? Because mm -hmm. every day you make a choice. And every choice you make determines your experience of life. Because mm -hmm. you can't control what happens to you. Good and bad things are going to happen to everyone. Mm -hmm. You heard what some of the psychics have said. Mm -hmm. It may or may not happen. Mm -hmm. You can't control what's going to happen, but you can always control how you respond. And that's the power. It's in your attitude. Let's talk about this one. Success is a choice. Explain yes. that. Well, I actually believe that everything is a choice. Absolutely everything. It doesn't matter whether you are living in a shack. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether things are really bad out there. It's not about what's happening in the outside world. Mm -hmm. Really what's important for me is what's happening in the inside world. What's happening in, the, in your thoughts and in your belief systems about yourself. Because that is the choices that we make. The choices you make about yourself internally. Mm -hmm. Who am I choosing to be mm -hmm. right now? That you can choose when you carry yourself with a successful energy. Because as human beings, let's, let's face it. We pick up much more on energy than we pick up on words. That's right. I mean, for example, I mean, if I said to you, Gee, Felicia, you're looking so beautiful, man. <laughs> yeah, but you're gorgeous, you know that. You've got such lovely hair. You've got such a nice smile. I mean, yeah, you go out. What are the chances that maybe you and I can go out, huh? You want to come? I mean, I'm saying all the right words to her. But what's my energy say? Do you think she's going to go for this? Forget it. And what people are picking up on is they pick up on your energy. It's non-verbal communication. It's energy. All it's it's energy. energy. When you walk into a room, what energy do you bring? Mm. Do you bring an energy that lifts people up? Or do you bring an energy that makes people feel, Ish, I'm suffering. <laughs> you know, that's South African's favorite word. Hey, we are suffering, man. Ish, we blind, man. We have, we have the victim syndrome. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to have you just take charge. But I, can I have the book? Yes. Um, well, you know John. Oh, yeah, I know John. Oh, yeah, that's well. you. Very well. This book has inspired me in many ways and really has helped me build mental stability. Right. Have fun. There, there they are. Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. The real question I want to ask you is who's really in control of your life? Because most of us think that we are in control of our lives when actually we're not. Because we are controlled by what other people say. Other people put us in a good mood or put us in a bad mood. And my invitation is to start recognizing that as long as you are controlled by ex external circumstances, you know, someone said something to me, that's why I'm in a bad mood. You'll never be in control of your life. Because otherwise people know just how to push your buttons. Because you see, we love holding on. Mm -hmm. You know what we love holding on to? We love holding on to our bitterness and our anger and our resentment. And we love holding on to things that happened when? Hey, we are in the past. See, each of us has got our story. Mm -hmm. Why my life is suffering. <laughs> <laughs> because you see, Robin, my, my problem is, you see, <laughs> when I was seven years old, my father left me. And you know, if my father hadn't have left me, my life would have been much better off. It's because of him that my life is the way it is. You know what we call this? Your baggage, not a chair. <laughs> Your baggage is a chair. And now I'm suffering also. <laughs> This is your baggage that we take with us from the past. And it's like, my father left me. And you know, 
And you know guys, if you think this is bad, this is nothing. Because you see, then what happened after that is you see, I got married. <laughs> oh hell. <laughs> and with the wife came more and more, and not to mention the mother-in-law. <laughs> and you know, if you think that's bad, that's nothing. Because then what happened is you see, I joined my company. <laughs> you know, and you know what companies are like? We are suffering these days. <laughs> and you know, wherever we go, we take our baggage with us. You know, it's like we love hold, like you know, you, you go to a party on a Saturday night, you know, you put on your best outfit, you know, and as you're going out the door, you're like, bye, bye, see you. Like, Ish, oh yeah. Ish, baggage, man. You see, you must must take your baggage with you. Now, you know, you come to the party, and you bump into your friends. Sorry, what's your name? David. David, you bump into your friends. How's it, David? How's it? Sorry, David. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But you see, David has most also got his baggage. Here. You see, we've all got our baggage. Now we start with what I call the victim mindset. Complaining about how bad our lives are and blaming other people. And as South Africans, when we listen to each other's complaints, we've got a few favorite sayings to help each other moan well. You know, it's like, let me help you. So like I said, geez, David, what happened to you? Really, eh? <laughs> Very bad. Very bad. And in English, when someone's complaining, what do we say? I'm sorry. <laughs> Shame. In Afrikaans, I. Foi toch, man. Hey, in Kostiam. Hey, I'm good blind. I'm so cold, eh? What must I say? Ah, good blind. Swim. And that's my friend term I learned that one in Durban. I learned a new one. But you know, it's like, we always, come. now of course when he's done complaining, now it's right. And of course your story has got to be worse than his. David, you think that, that's nothing. Then of course we leave him, we're like, Eish, what can we do? You know, if, oh, my life would have been so much better off if it wasn't for these people, man. I'm suffering because of them. <laughs> I mean, who's holding you back? Who's really holding you back? Yourself. Guys, if that's the only thing you get for 2004, the only person that stands in the way of you and success is you. You're it. Nothing is happening to you. All things are created by you. You are the force. And what I want to leave you with is recognize that you are far greater than you can possibly imagine. And I really mean that. I know you've heard it many times from other speakers. But recognize that everything starts with you. You're the cause. And that you can create 2004 the way you want it to. Now it's not easy. One has to work at this. You asked me a question earlier. Well, you need to start reading books that inspire you. Because if you constantly feed all the negativity that comes to you from the, the media that we hear about how bad things are, and we listen to people complaining, your life becomes like a, a suffering hole. <laughs> and my invitation is to recognize that you're the cause. You're it. And that you are in control. Become conscious of your thoughts. Become conscious of your attitude. Mm -hmm. I've got a new attitude. Tidy up your attitude mm -hmm. and watch everything around you change. I'm charged. That was excited. I don't know about you at home, but I am charged and ready to take on the challenge in 2004. What about you? I hope you're saying the same thing at home. Inspirational speaker motivator, corporate speaker, whatever. You, you have so many titles, You're just unbelievable. <laughs> well, as it says, success is a choice. You can continue to be a victim or choose to be a victor. Go on, take on the challenge. We have invited one of the most successful